Here's a full settings guide for Arena Breakout. There are some actual important settings to note inside of this game, so that's why I'm making this video. I also do want to give a huge thank you to Arena Breakout for sponsoring today's video. Now we're going to go through each category basically and starting off in the basic settings. You want to make sure that you have aim assist on unless you're a pro gamer um, who's next level. Make sure that you keep that on because it definitely will help you in the battlefield. Also the tutorial settings are great to keep on honestly until you actually fully know what you're doing in the game but the health tutorial, the reload tutorial, and the treatment tutorial are all great things to honestly keep on just so that you know what you're doing and that it keeps you right during the matches. For controls inside of the HUD, there are a few unique buttons inside of this game. For example, they have the health indicator, which is going to show your body, show your body parts. For example, if you get shot in your arm, your arm will turn red. And if it goes completely out of commission, it will turn completely black. If you get shot in the head and you get one shotted through a headshot, your head will also be completely black. Same thing for your legs, for your abdomen, so on and so forth. There also is a sound indicator that is very useful. It will tell you when there are enemies close by or when there are enemies really, really nearby right next. So both of these things are very nice to have and you want to make sure that they are visible whenever you are playing. So if you're holding your phone or iPad, make sure they are in a spot to where you can see them at all times. There also is a laser button, which will basically allow you to click your laser on and off. It's not a huge button and there's not really much for me to talk about, but there is this button inside of the game that you guys should know about. If you want to turn your laser off in certain instances, you can do that. Same thing with the mask or helmets. In the game, you can actually take it off or put it back on if you want to, because sometimes it does take up a lot of your screen and like your field of view and stuff like that. So it is good in certain instances to actually take it off, but also having it on is also very nice. For sensitivity, there's not really much that I could tell you guys, honestly. Um, the best way to train your sensitivity in your settings is to just go into the actual training room and screw around with the bots there. But you really don't want your sensitivity too high unless you are someone who can snap your screen. But for the most part, having your sensitivity low will help you aim very nicely and precisely in battle. Audio is also a very important setting to actually note in this game because you don't want to turn your audio low at all. You want to make sure that you have your master sound all the way turned up. Mine's on 86, but that does me justice because I have my Elgato actually turned up. So also, if it is possible, make sure that you turn your spatial audio quality all the way up to high. If you can't do that, it is fine, but making it on high will make sure that you are able to hear at the best quality at the farthest distance possible. It gives you more crisp and cleaner knowledge on what is actually going around in the area. For graphics, this is honestly really dependent on your device, but if you have a lower end device, I highly recommend playing on lower graphics, but higher frame rate. If your phone can handle it or if your iPad or tablet can handle it, definitely turn your graphics up because this game looks beautiful. It looks absolutely amazing. It's one of the best graphics on mobile that we've seen ever. So. If you are able to definitely turn your graphics up but you can play on low graphics and it actually might help you see enemies better because they do have to take away certain assets and just things around the map to actually make the game run smoother so if you turn on smooth graphics you might have an easier time seeing people but the game just looks gorgeous when you have it on hdr or ultra so yeah with that though that is really all that you need to know for the settings inside of arena breakout so yeah, i appreciate arena breakout thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video again if you guys are new make sure to drop a like on this subscribe to the channel both of those things do help me out a ton my name is intense i will see you in the next one have a good rest of the day peace